if I put this into a calculator, this gives me 15.26, okay? So that is the, the sum of all my cash flows discounted for time, putting all those cash flows over time into a present value, okay? So being try, attempting to equate these future positives with this current negative. The, adding all those cash flows up, I get 15.26. Now let's compare that to being the MPV of being a sports star, which is much easier because in time period now, 0.95 raised to zero, again, we can s simplify that to one. Okay, again, this is basically one times 15, the next three periods is zero plus zero plus zero, okay? So the MPV of being a sports star is 15. So what has this done? At a discount factor of 0.95, which is a discount rate, remember, of um, 0.53, be, being a doctor just barely beats out uh, being a sports star. So if everything else were equal, I would choose to be a doctor, okay? So my net present value, my lifetime benefits um, outweigh those of the lifetime benefits of a sports star, okay, in this comparison. So at, at rate, R equal 5.3%, I choose becoming a, I'm sorry, not a sports star, I become a medical doctor, okay? Now, the final thing that we want to look at here, and let me reset this a bit, is, okay, um, at 5.3, we're pretty close to um, equal here. I want to do one last calculation and I want to find the I want to find the rate r star where the MPV of being a medical doctor is equal to the MPV of being a sports star. Okay. So at low rates, basically I'm more willing to wait for future these future incomes. At high rates, I'm going to take this immediate income. What's the rate? So at 5.3, I'm willing to wait. But what's a rate where I'm not willing to wait? Then I'll become a sports star. This is called the internal rate of return. Okay, it's the rate related to our discount factor now, who where either uh, either financial choice becomes indifferent. Okay, so what I want to do here is I'm not I'm I need to solve for delta. Okay, delta star, where these are um, equalized. Okay, so I'm not putting a, a a delta in here. I'm not pointing 0.95 and solving. I'm I'm solving for delta itself. So I'm going to do my my same NPV calculation, okay, times minus five. I'm gonna do it for MD. I'll put this all in here for MD. Delta time period one times my uh, cash flow from one. Delta time period two times my cash flow from two plus delta time period three times my cash flow from time three, okay? And I'm go that gives me the MPV for MD, and I'm gonna set that equal to the MPV for being a sports star. Okay, and again, delta zero times 15, okay, and then plus zero, zero, zeros. So I'll put that in plus zero, zero, and zero, okay, because all three of these are zero. Now what I have to do is I have to find delta. Okay, so I can simplify these a bit. Th these cancel out because they're just ones. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's see, How, what do I do here? I do a bit of algebra and I'm going to 
bring this 15 over. So I have, if I subtract by 15 on each side, I get minus 20 plus delta plus delta squared. Oops, let's do this this way. 10 delta squared plus 12 delta cubed is equal to zero. Okay, let me show you what I did um, to solve this, and I typically do it for these, is I type this equation into, let's bring it back where you can see it, I type this equation into Google, okay, minus 20 plus x plus 10 times x squared plus 12 times x to the third, okay, so this uh, brings up this graph, okay, and uh, when that's equal to zero, when x is solved for zero, the answer is 0 0.941. I believe that's correct, okay? So approximately, yeah, when y is zero, I get 9.945, okay? So solving for delta gives me, so here, delta is equal to 0.945, okay? So let's go back over here and solve for, that's very close to what I had before. So remember, delta is equal to one over one plus r. Let's change it, 945 is equal to one over one plus r. Again, I can just substitute this in and bring over my calculator, one divided by 0.945 minus one, okay, 0.58. So R star is equal to 5.8%, okay. Last thing here, what does that mean? Okay, what does that mean? Well, remember our previous um, rate was, I think this was 5.3%. The decision here is when R is less than IRR, I'll choose the long-term in investment. Okay, the long-term investment here is getting these later big income flows. Okay, so as long as my rate, my discount rate is less than IRR, which before it was, it was 5.3%, which is less than 5.8%. Less than 5.8%, I choose to invest if my rate is greater than I, the IRR, okay? If it were happened to be greater than 5.8%, then I would choose the immediate cash flow, okay? So I would not invest in later cash flows, okay? So if I had a discount rate of something, say like 20%, instead of hovering around 5.3%, if it was 20%, it would indicate that I'm very impatient. I'm not going to wait around. I'm going to take this immediate cash flow. I would choose to be a sports star. If, however, I have a low uh, discount rate, it indicates more patience, more willingness to wait on these long-term flows. All right. Thanks for sticking with me on this. Um, it's uh, You want to practice these. There's some good uh, opportunities to practice. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.